Well, guys, unless you've been living under a rock, you should know that AI is taking over the universe. Now, AI is artificial intelligence. Now, a lot of you guys have heard of ChatGPT, but there's also programs that create art, the most notable being Midjourney. Now, Midjourney is great, and there are some pros and cons that I'm gonna get into a little bit later, but what if I told you there's a service that I already told you about and now AI is available on that platform. I'm Gary, this is T-Shirt Help Desk, and let's get into AI T-Shirt Art. T-Shirt Help Desk. That's right, Kittle. Not only can you go in and create fantastic art, now AI is already inside. So without any further ado, let's go under the hood. All right, guys, so here we are. We are in Kittle. I've showed you this before. And if you go up at the top of the, see this? Kittle AI is here. So let's click this bad boy right there. So let's go right here, create with Kittle AI. Now you're gonna see, if you if you um, go to my uh, tutorial, you're gonna see that this is the blank canvas, but we're gonna go right over here and see this? Bang, Kittle AI. Now. Just to show you guys, uh, first of all, you see right here, you get 100 credits, okay? Now, to show you guys a little bit, this is truly text to art. You type in something and it creates it. Now, these, right, um, and, and that's what's called a prompt, okay? Now, down here, these are your styles, right? And pretty much styles is like the style of your artwork your inspiration so to speak so i'm going to click right here. i'm going to i'm just going to go down to show you a little bit and they also they have patterns vector styles clip art styles and these image styles but i'm going to go right here and i'm going to click show all bam right so to let you know right if you put in a, a, and i'm going to show you what it does if you say i want i want um i want a cat on top of a rocket ship in outer space right you go right here and it's going to do it in this style because that could look all different type of ways so it could look like digital art it could look like anime it could look like acrylic art it could look psychedelic you know it could look art deco this right here is steampunk painting synth wave right this is the style, right? That whatever you type over here, hold on, whatever you type over here is gonna make it happen, okay? So without any further ado, man, I, I'm enough with all the damn talking, playboy. Get into it. So I'm gonna actually, for the first one, I'm gonna actually just do exactly what I said. What did I say? I said a cat on top of a rocket ship in outer is that a space one word or two I don't know but it'll figure it out right now what style am I going to use Let, what style am I going to use let's okay you know what I'm going to use you know what digital art I'm just going to do digital art style right now rocket ship okay rocket ship is two words cat on top of so you know what Let's make it happen. Generate image. Look at that. This is to show you. Let's let's make this bad. This is to show you. I mean, look at this. This literally, I generated out of words. You understand me? Right now, there are things that I could go in, right? Just to show, I can go in and say, let's just say I wanted one cat. You can go right over here, right? And you could be very, very specific. Do you understand what I'm saying? You could be very, very specific. But I wanted to let you know, right? How this whole thing kind of works, okay? So what I'm gonna do right now is uh and that saves for you i just spent one credit you know i did that for you guys so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go into uh something that i would you know kind of do 
on a t-shirt so and i was been thinking about this so so there's something that i i want to do right so it is i'm going to i want to do um mexican day of the dead skull Uh, and I'm going to put that in Spanish right there. Um, smoking a cigar. Okay. With some brero. Bright color. I'm just going to write bright colors. Okay. Now, what style? What style? Do, let's go to show all. What what style do we want? Do we want psychic? I might do that psychedelic. Simp wave, painting, foggy scenery. What's What style should we go with? New wave abstract, palette knife. You know what? I'm going to do color splatter just to see what happens. Right? And this is clip art style. So this is going to have um, a uh, like a solid background. And I'm going to show you how you can remove the background. Right? So I'm just going to do this one. I'm going to click right there just to see. I might do it a couple of styles because I really want to see what, you know, what this comes out like. So I'm going to copy. I'm going to copy this so I can use it again. And we're going to create image let's do it let's go down here oh it's working baby it's working come on baby come on with your funky woo okay so I'm gonna take these you can make these smaller and we're gonna go right here Look at that. Now that to me is a little bit too, it's really, really cool, but it's really painterly looking. It's like painterly painting and, that, and that's a pipe. And I said cigar, right? So, but that's cool. So I'm going to do that same thing again, right? But I'm going to do it in another style. I'm going to do it right here in acrylic. Let's see what that bad and then I'm gonna do it in that I can't wait to do it in that in that psychedelic actually you know what I'm gonna do it in a psychedelic I'm gonna do it in a psychedelic right now bam let's see I'm gonna let it go through Whoa, it's getting quicker oh damn I had it on I had it on art deco y'all but that's kind of cool I had it on art deco my my bad. I had it on Art Deco. I want it psychedelic. I want it psychedelic. So let's go right here. Wow. I really like that. I really like that. That looks amazing okay and this all has been saved so um there we go so i want to do this right i want to do another one some of you may be saying well i can just go use mid journey it's free uh, uh, uh. mid journey gives you about 25 different prompts meaning text to art you can do that about 25 times right then you have to pay not only that in order to use anything off of Midjourney commercially, meaning you want to make money with it, you need a paid version. All right. So you might as well go to Kittle and it's a lot easier on Kittle. I want to do. Um, Statue of Liberty. with a skull 
zombie face holding a gun. I saw a t-shirt like this a long time ago. In the air. Uh, oh, in the air. Uh, you know what? And let's see what, what style we're going to do. Look, did I did acrylic before. Did I do digital art before? You know, I'm going to do detailed drawing in clip art. I'm going to do detailed drawing. And you know what, guys? Let's see what we get. You ready? Let's make it happen. Really like that. Now, I would add to that, but I could do something with that. Now I really could I really could make something with that. Fortunately, um, that uh, wow 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 wow. So let's go back. Okay. I'm gonna go full statue. From head to toe in New York Harbor. I hope I'm not giving it too much. Uh, I hope I'm not giving it too much information. Wow. You know what? I honestly think that I hon I honestly think that I love this. I honestly think that the holding the gun part is like politically incorrect with the with you know with the holding the, the the holding the gun. So I don't think it could really do holding a gun. But look at this. Look at this. I I love this. I really really love this. I know that I can make a t-shirt out of that. All right, so now I'm going to go right here. I'm going to take this one and let's uh, forward and background remover. Look at that. All right, so we can take this. These are all saved. So I'm just going to go right here. And this is the really great thing about this is that you can do text and you get a go right here and there's a saying in New York we say rotten apple so let's move this a little bit I'm gonna go right here I'm gonna make this uh Like I said, once again, guys, I'm just having some fun with this. 
and we're gonna go right here and we're gonna pull some of these like green yeah yeah we're gonna pull some of these greens and this right here I'm gonna pull that that green out of there all right and now we're gonna go and we're just gonna kind of like yeah there we go And this way we get to cover like that part that wasn't there. I could go in and do some prompts uh, and, you know, get the whole thing. But I like Rotten Apple. I really like that. That, my friends, is a T-shirt that I know I can. Damn, that's bomb. So anyway, guys, that's a little bit of how you can play around and just you the, the power of AI and ain't no no one has this guys no one has this this is the power of AI okay so um that's that and I think hold on let me see I'm gonna go back here let's go back here and let's see if there's anything else that I want to show you can also do patterns right but I just pretty much wanted to give you um a, a taste of a little bit of what you can do and how I would, you know, how I would use the AI in the entire Kittle program. So this is just a little bit of what you can do with Kittle and AI. So guys, AI is here, is here to stay, whether you like it or not. And let me just give you a little bit of food for thought here. How about as opposed to fearing that AI is gonna take your job how about use AI to make some money to quit your job? You understand me? Use it. Don't let it use you. How about use it to make money as opposed to letting AI take your job? You feel me? Shout it. Anyway, the link for Kiddo is going to be down in the description box. I'm going to put some butter on my shoes and slide on out the door. God bless and I'll see you on the other video and check out this video that we did on how to use kiddo as a full tutorial all that good stuff all right it's right here till next time peace t-shirt help brusque